other jewels that fit on the Exminster range of checks. We've got the O'Donnells, the cylinder jewels, and piranhas. Now some of these we kind of looked at and they cross over in areas, so definitely the piranhas, but the other sits we haven't looked at. These are quite unique in what we do, and they have some specific aspects that we can use them for. On the top of the O'Donnells we have a dovetail inside and out. That's repeated right way across the range, so you can use to expand into the bottom of the bowl, or compress down on. So very versatile for that, so you can do your spigot recess, or you could have your straight spigot either side on here in reality you could expand out in contract out on so we have 25 mil 37 mil 50 mil then we have the cylinder jaws which will be 25 50 and then the piranhas the sizes again will be printed on the website so it's worth looking at and what those sizes are because you have an internal and external size on each so pretty much everything in front of me here has been used and held using the O'Donnell. So things like the hollow pot, we can actually hold smaller diameter, quite small as a hollow form. By actually holding small, it gives us more access to continue our shape round. Things like our box here, we've got the shape. We've actually extended the curvature here as much as we can when we're turning it. So by holding on a smaller set of jewels, they give us more access, which we're going to look at a little bit on the labour view. So, most of the objects on here, that's how we've held things. So for our box design we have, we've got quite a bulbous shape around here, we've got our lid that can come off. Now our shape around here, as much as we can extend it can be really good at this stage, help build the shape while we're turning, give us an idea of the wall thickness and measure. We've deliberately taken one of the jaws off the chuck so we've got this open gap. Now hopefully if you, you can see into there how this grips, we've got the little dovetail, gripping in there nice and firm. Now the whole reason for this gives me a lot more access. Okay, so with this setup, got the chisel in place, the jaws in, got a lot of open area here, which is great to allow the chisel to come round. We're away from the chuck body, so lots of clearance for our hands, so we're not gonna clash onto the chuck. So we've got a lot more access to get in behind here, so it helps build the shape. So this is where the O'Donnells, the spigot jaws, and the cylinder jaws really have a use. Give you more access on here, be it a bowl, a hollow pot, extending that shape can be really useful. So all this clearance shape, drawing away from the main chuck body, gives us more access to pull around here. So hopefully that gives you a good insight to one of the uses there. Other things we can do on here, well this is hazel, so we want to make something like our small little Christmas trees out of this. We can see how the branch will hold all the way down through there, lots of grip being presented, nice straight inside, puts lots of pressure onto our workpiece. We can obviously feed these out as we want to go through, lock them off. So with round objects, bits of dowel, we can feed all the way through the headstock as long as it will pass through. But gives you something quite positive. So we've changed the jewels, different set. So this is the 50 mil O'Donnell's, so that's 50 mil internal. So if you're doing something with polyester resin, can be really good with these because it gives you a way of actually holding a long way down, physically gripping it. Obviously the 25 mil ones will do the smaller size, the 50 mil fit straight into here. Now the advantage with this, if you mount this between centers, it's very brittle. So the centers can actually crack or break the polyester resin. But going this way, we can actually mount it quickly, turn something as a spigot to hold it, cut them to length, turn whatever shape you want. So very useful for that. Things like the salt and pepper tops, I can put onto there, do a dovetail, allows me to do that, that's quite easy. Something like our bowl, rough turned. Again, I tend to try and leave that spigot inside. Gives me a way of putting it on here. Now you might need a long key for this, but you can actually grip down onto that spigot, hold it in place, allows you to remount it, turn the outside shape. So by having that extended length, allows us to grip right down inside the bowl really nicely. Okay, so with the 50 mil jaws, one of the things we can actually do is use the inserts to make them the different sizes. So in reality, we have 37, 25. So these literally, we take our jaw, they bolt in the side. So this is a way of just adapting each of those to give you more sizes, complete the range if you like. So instead of buying three separate sets of O'Donnell's, you could actually have the big set, and the inserts that just bolt in. So again, that gives you a way of just making everything a bit smaller. So we've gone 25s. But this would allow us to go down in size. We can up them up. 
we can grip into there. We can take that out. We've obviously got a dovetail on the top, inside and out again. So again, for smaller work, really good for that. Having put the inserts in, we've reduced the size down from the larger size 50 mil. This is going all the way down to 25, but well, one inch resin, we can put that down the center. We can grip that. Nice and secure, easy way of converting. So one set of jewels, you could actually add on the different inserts, get three different sizes. So it adds a lot more variety to what you can do. Again, you've got your dovetail inside and on the outside edge. So you can use it to go into the bottom of a bowl, expand out, contract down on. So really useful for that. The other major thing, you're drawing your hand away from the main metal bit, the chuck, a lot more safety. So next set of jaws, really the cylinder jaws. These were designed by Bert Marsh. So they were a way again of drawing your hand away from the chuck, giving you a safety area to hold the chisel within. So by getting your fingertips nearer to the chuck, or to the jaws, you're getting nearer to the workpiece, you get more control on what you're cutting. So again, a couple of unique things on these. We've got long, deep, clear hole, if you like, through the center. So this lovely, clear drilling mark down through. When the jaw goes on, I'm just gonna clip that onto the groove. So again, with our polyester resins, our pen blanks, all those sort of things, it's possible that actually we could load straight down through the center. Got a lot of grip down through here for something dead parallel. So it adds a lot more support, especially if you're doing something like a long stem goblet. On both the jaws, we have a dovetail on the top. Okay, so we can grip internally or externally, so we can expand into the bottom of the bowl. We can come down onto it, compress it. This is the 50 mil, so again, that'll take 50 mil diameter stock really easy. You could do square blanks down inside these nicely as well, because you've got a lot of support down through the centre hole. So those two sizes, very adaptable. This lovely curved shape in here, again, makes it safer to get your hands near the workpiece. So that's the two cylinder jaws. So again, with things with the cylinder jaws, this extended length, deep hole in the center, we can take our bowl, we can obviously load everything, so we can reverse our bowl. So the major thing with this sort of operation, where you're doing a bigger bowl, we'd need the longer chuck key to get into there. But really good as a way of reversing that, gripping it back on the lathe, turning the whole outside shape. Okay, so another set of jaws that prolong, draw your hand away from the chuck is the piranhas. So they're longer length, makes them safer to use. We've got a lovely serrated tooth down here, provides lots of grip, be it externally or internally. We have dovetail, top and bottom, so you can do it in the back, bottom of a bowl again. So a couple of things really use these for. I love using them to drill my salt and pepper mills. So you can put these in, close it right down. Now with the length of the body material here, lots of grip, grip in this, very stable. So we then have the lathe running, you can draw your hole all the way down through. So you come to about halfway, and then I find it easier. Turn it round, draw the other end. So this allows us to centre it quickly, very versatile to do, but extremely safe on holding those longer lengths due to that extended length. On the top and bottom, we have a dovetail on the outside, one on the inside, lots of depth, lots of strength on here. Another thing I use these a lot for, my rough turn bowl again. So we can put that into there. This will allow us to tighten that down and grip it to allow us to get back onto the outside, clean that shape up, true it up. Then obviously we can reverse it, re-grip on the foot. So very versatile for that sort of scenario. So hopefully that gives you a better idea where you can use the O'Donnell jaws, the cylinders, the piranha jaws to grip different things, be it vases, boxes, salt and pepper mills, natural edge bowls, whole range of different things you can make. Whatever you want to do, think about how you're going to hold it. Okay, so hope you've enjoyed watching those videos. So that covers the range of chuck jaws that we do. There's more to come along those lines of different things you can do with. The jaws we've looked at will fit any of the chucks that we've made over the last 40 years. So everything is interchangeable between the chucks. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.